The Doll's House is a short story by Catherine Mansfield, published in 1922. The story revolves around the Burnell sisters, Kezia, Isabel, and Lottie, who are given a beautiful doll house as a gift. This doll house is the talk of the town, and the sisters take great pride in showing it to their classmates. However, not everyone is allowed to see the doll house, as the Kelvies, two poor girls, are excluded from viewing it. The Kelvies, particularly Lil Kelvie, long to see the doll house, but they are never allowed inside. When Kezia invites the Kelvy girls inside to view the doll house, they are harshly told to leave the premises by Aunt Beryl. It is a detached third-person narrative that is omniscient but shifting at times with dialogues and indicating the inner feelings of the characters. The narrative is haphazard and episodic with features of modernism. In the doll's house, the Kelvies are treated unfairly and left out because of their social status suggesting the theme of exclusion and social prejudice. The story highlights how unfair judgments and rejection can be hurtful and wrong. The Kelvies, Lil and Else, are excluded from seeing the beautiful doll house. Thus, the doll house symbolizes social elitism and exclusion. This exclusion happens because the Kelvies are considered different and common by the other kids. They are the daughters of a washerwoman and a jailbird belonging to the low economic strata of society. This shows how social prejudice works people judge others based on their background, and this leads to unfair treatment. The Kelvies are also looked down upon by the adults. When they try to see the doll house, the adults, like Aunt Beryl, reprimand them reminding them of their low social position, you know as well as I do, you're not allowed to talk to them. Run away, children, run away at once. And don't come back again. This is hurtful and unkind, and it makes the Kelvies feel like they don't belong and are socially ostracized. The power of objects in the story is like a symbol of how material things can shape our lives, make some people feel superior, and others feel inferior. It's about how people use things to control and show off their power. The Burnell sisters' doll house is a beautiful and expensive object. It's like a tiny version of a real house with tiny furniture and dolls. The Burnell sisters are proud of it, and it becomes a symbol of their family's high social status and privilege. Everyone in their school wants to see it, and it makes the girls feel special and important. But the doll house also has the power to exclude and hurt people. The Kelvies, who are considered poor and different, aren't allowed to see the doll house. This shows how the doll house is used to keep some people out and make them feel less important. It's not just a toy, it's a way for the rich and powerful to show their dominance. Another example is of the lamp that represents the divide between social classes where those in power control what others can see and learn. It suggests how knowledge and access to certain experiences are used to maintain social hierarchies. At the mention of the lamp, the Kelvies are drawn to the doll house. The lamp represents their desire to be part of something bigger and to learn about the world beyond their own. Later when Kelvies wants to see the doll house, Aunt Beryl shoes them away, denying the Kelvies this experience. Nonetheless, afterwards, Els Kelvy declares I seen the little lamp. This act symbolizes the power of the upper class to control access to knowledge and opportunities, keeping it from the lower class. In the story, the innocence of childhood is shown through the children's excitement and wonder about the doll house, but it is juxtaposed with the cruelty they display by excluding the Kelvies. This highlights how children, while often pure at heart, can also be influenced by social norms and exhibit cruelty when they exclude or mistreat others who are different. At first, the Burnell sisters are full of excitement and innocence, proudly showing the beautiful doll house to their classmates. This represents the pure, joyful side of childhood. The Kelvies, who are from a lower social class, are excluded and made to feel inferior by the other children. The Burnell sisters, especially Isabel, are initially excited about having power over who gets to see the doll house and who doesn't. This cruel exclusion demonstrates how even innocent children can engage in discrimination stemming from social prejudice and a lack of empathy learned from the adults around them. The children imitate and absorb from their parents the class consciousness, prejudice, and social pretensions. Similar to how Emmy swallowed in a very meaning way and nodded to Isabel as she'd seen her mother do on those occasions when she mocked the Kelvy girls. In the story, there are two main social classes. The Burnell sisters, who have a beautiful doll house, belong to the upper class, while the Kelvies, who are considered poor and common, belong to the lower class. The story highlights how social class can create divisions among people, leading to different treatment based on wealth or social status. 
It shows that these divisions can be spiteful and unjust, such as the exclusion and prejudice the Kelvies face because of their lower social class. The Bernal sisters are proud of their fancy doll house and show it off to their classmates. They feel special and important because they have something that the other kids don't. This shows how social class can create a sense of superiority. On the other hand, the Kelvies, like Lil Kelvy, long to see the doll house but are excluded because they are from a lower social class. The other kids and even adults like the children's parents and some teachers treat them as if they are not as good as the other financially privileged children. This demonstrates how social class divisions can lead to unfair treatment and exclusion.